Zifeng Ren, Science. Between our gasoline-powered cars, our incandescent light bulbs, and our constantly running thermostats, the United States has become the most wasteful country in the world, using only 39% of the energy it produces. In his lab at the University of Houston, Dr. Zifeng Ren is not only aware of this growing problem, but is making huge strides in the effort to change those statistics. My uh, whole research right now is uh, almost focused on how to uh, make the energy conversion systems more efficient, how to make solar energy more efficient, less pollution. Dr. Ren and his team have been focusing on thermoelectric materials and their remarkable ability to convert heat into energy. Using new creative methods, Dr. Ren has revolutionized the field, in some cases, successfully finding 40% increases in thermoelectric efficiencies over previous records. He looked into the simplest method using a bore milling machine and created the same results. Because of that, he made the material commercial because of the low cost. I very much try to think things outside the box, that's for sure. I don't think just one thing, what's related, what's the next step. By finding a way to create much more efficient thermoelectric materials at a lower cost, Dr. Ren's team has opened the door for development of new energy-saving devices. If we use thermoelectric, we can convert some of the heat as, into electricity and then feed back to your car control system. So then you can uh, improve your gas mileage. Dr. Ren is also applying his materials expertise to medicine through the use of nanotechnology. His team has successfully developed a nanosensor that could monitor and regulate medication for transplant patients, allowing them to know exactly when they need another dosage. So then you reduce a lot of consumption of the uh, medicine, of the drugs. That could be huge, could be change a lot of people's uh, life. With significant contributions in five different scientific fields, Dr. Ren's talents are far-reaching. He's already co-founded three different high-tech companies based on his innovations in carbon nanotechnology, solar energy, and thermoelectrics. And at each turn, he continues to seek ways he can make the biggest impact. I always look, look out and new opportunities. If there's anything new coming up, and if I feel that my experience can make some kind of difference, I start to, to, to do it.